Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're taking a look at another portable power station. This is gonna power your TV, your refrigerator, a lot of devices, either in your home, in your campsite, or if you're tailgating. Check this big boy out. Let's get right to it. Now, over the last several weeks, we've been reviewing multiple power station solutions, portable generators that can be uh, powered by either the sun or uh, they have a battery solution inside that you can use to charge other solutions in the event that you have a power outage. But these solutions also work great if you have a tailgating event, you wanna go camping, or if you just simply wanna have a power solution for an outdoor area in your home that doesn't really have an electrical outlet close by. So today we're looking at this big boy. Uh, this is the Max Oak. This has a lot of power, like 400 watts of power. It has electrical outlets, it has USB outlets, and guess what? It can jumpstart your car too. So let's get right to it. So now this portable power solution is big. It's big enough where it even has a big box. So we're gonna go over some of the things on the box and take a look at why you may wanna consider it. So as we take a look at the box here, you're gonna be able to get, <laughs> check this out, 60 times, about 60 times powering your cell phones. You're gonna be able to run a TV for approximately three hours. You can have a laptop for about five hours. Uh, you can have LED lights for up to 100 hours. So you're gonna get a lot of power options with this. So it's gonna be a great option for those of you who are looking for an outdoor solution or a campsite solution. Now this box is big, so let's check out some of the features here. So you have the capacity of 400 watt hours. The battery cell is a Samsung battery cell, which is gonna be a top-notch cell. Uh, the charging time is about four to six hours. And the output, look at the AC output. So you have continuous output power of 300 watts, peak output power of 600 watts, rated output voltage, you see that there, rated frequency, and then overload amount. Now, as far as the actual ports, the output themselves, you have six, hear that right, six USB ports, you have one uh, 12 volt, one 12 volt, you have one that's 10 amp and one is five amp, one USB-C, and you can see the dimensions of the product. So uh, let's take a look at the unit because uh, I need to get behind this box. Now with this solution, you're gonna have a lot of different power options. So first of all, it does come with the brick that's gonna allow you to charge the unit. So you can see that right here. Uh, you then also have multiple different adapters. So you have a cigarette lighter adapter uh, that gets connected to the unit and you can see um, all of your connectivity options right here. You have a uh, USB-C cable, so it includes that. And also it has a cigarette. Uh, lighter also option that you can use uh, for charging as well. Now keep in mind that this unit can be used or to charge it by a solar panel as well. So you don't need to plug it into a car, you don't have to plug it into a home, but if you have a solar panel, you'll be able to do that as well. Now my favorite option, because I've actually uh, used this option a lot, is this one right here. Uh, the fact that you can have a jumpstart solution out of this. So you're not only gonna power all your gadgets in a campsite, but in the event that your, uh, your battery is completely drained, you have a jumpstart solution as well. So check this out. So here's our jumpstart connectors, and they just simply get connected to the power station as well. Let's take a look at the power station. Now taking a closer look at the unit, this unit is large. The box was large, the adapters were large, and the unit itself is large because it has so much capacity. As we take a look at it, you have two standard AC outlets. Uh, when we power this thing up, you're gonna see a very nice graphical display indicating uh, that it's on. And then what you can do is you can press and hold to turn on each one of these individual components. So DC on, you can press and hold this one and you have your AC on. So now all of the adapters are enabled and on. Um, it has a convenient handle that's gonna allow you to take it from one place to another. It's relatively lightweight given the fact that it has all this capacity. Uh, as we take a look at the bottom, you'll notice that the bottom also has some rubberized feet. Let's take a look at that for a second. So as we look at the bottom, you'll notice that you have these four rubberized feet that are going to, again, allow you to keep it sturdy in one specific place. And also it raises it quite a bit from the ground, which is really nice. As we flip this over, you'll notice here, you have your uh, output, DC output. So look at, you have all of these adapters here, which is gonna make it great for a home setting or even a camping site, because you can charge all your gadgets. You have your quick charging out 3.0, for Samsung devices, for Google Pixel devices. Um, you just have everything that you need here. And then you have your additional output. As we flip this over, on the back side, there isn't anything here on this side, but we'll flip this over here. And then what you'll see is you have your input, right, for your power adapter. And then this is where you connect your jump starter. So imagine this. 
solving all your electrical needs when you're on the go and then also serving as a jump start. Now check this out. So here we're taking a look at the power consumption. Uh, so we see that we are consuming 15 watts of power based on the fact that I have three phones connected. So here I have a Note 9, I have a OnePlus 6T, and then over here I have my S10 uh, Plus. Now the other one thing I wanted to show you is that the S10 Plus is connected to the actual uh, USB-C. And what you'll see here, we'll put this in an angle, you'll be able to see that it says fast charging. So that USB-C uh, port is going to give you the fastest possible charging rate for your device and your device is what's going to govern it. Uh, pretty much doesn't really matter which device you connect this to, which port, it's going to charge whatever device to its fastest possible rate. It's just that the USB ports themselves uh, that I have connected to the other devices are not doing fast charging because they're not Qualcomm certified. So now for those of you who are curious as to what type of electrical devices you're going to be able to power with this solution, I wanted to go directly into the specifications so you can see the power ratings. So here you see the AC output rating and you can see, uh, again, uh, the information associated with it. What is the rated output voltage? What is the rated frequency? The power factor? The overload? Etc. So you can see that for each one of these. Here you see the uh, 12 volt output, right? And then over here you see that other, the 5 amp version so this was our 10 amp and here is our 5 amp and you can see all the details there uh, the USB-C port and the kind of output and then you see the USB output the six ports again and the max power settings now if you're looking at the charging areas so here you see all the charging areas now one of the things I will say is that while this works really well for electronics you can power your Mac not a problem you can power a laptop power a lot of different devices one thing I have noticed is that if you try to use a blender right and you're using um, you know like a ninja or any other type of blender uh, the unit will not be able to handle that uh, but it will be able to handle a lot of other devices based on your needs as long as you take a look at the technical specifications and it falls within the power rating of the item that you're looking for so guys that concludes our review of the max oak portable power storage solution let me know what you thought about this product in the comment area below would love to hear from you